Good day. My name is Paula and I'm here at CSA Derm Center. I came here all the way from Manila just to try Dr. Contessa's non-surgical procedures. My concern is all about my chin and the right side of my cheek to achieve a more facial symmetry. So today I'm really excited to see the results later after the procedures. So we'll be right back. Welcome back mga ka -CSA. I'm Dr. Contessa, your host, and I'm your Certified Aesthetic Physician here at CSA Derm Center. Today, we have a very special episode. We'll be dealing with the Suffolk Facial Asymmetry. Together with me is Miss Paula. Hello. Hi, Doctor. Yeah. Hi, Paula. Welcome to the Certified Skin Authority. So, it's her first time to be with us yes. mga ka -CSA. Yan. So, we've heard you a while ago. Um, mentioning regarding the face area, the yes. concern nga na one side is uh, kung baga eh, bigger than the other yes. side, or the other side is smaller than the other, other side, side, parang yeah. ganon. So we wanted to do some procedure naman na non-surgical. Yes, yes. Uh, how young are you, Paula? I'm 25 years old, yes. and yes. Yeah, so that my concern is, my concern is about my facial symmetry. So I want to, to achieve more V-shaped face. V-shaped yeah. and also balance. Yeah. Kasama na yung contouring. Yes. Yan. And Paula here kasi, she's a teacher. Diba? Yeah, so I'm a teacher. So parang for me, it's important for me to be confident in Correct. front of my students yes. and in front of the, uh, handling uh, parents and other teachers. Yes. Yeah. So, where do you work nga pala, Paula? I work in CIE, and yes. it's a British school in Makati. Yes. Oh, yan. And teaches? I teach English and yan. reading. Yeah. Okay. So, right now, we can speak English. Pure <laughs> English. Okay. Yes. So, with regards to Paula, she's so young. She's just 25. Without any form of treatment at all, so face. Yes. Probably doing some facials, right? Yes, just facials. Yeah. Yeah. And looking at her, her skin texture so far so good. Sometimes we still have pimples. Yes, okay. yeah. Diba? Especially Break women. Out, yeah. yeah. When we have our period. Yeah. Okay. But in terms of the the face shape, okay. Mm -hmm. So yung sa kanya kasi, actually your face is small, okay. Mm -hmm. So petit, petit din si Paula. Yeah. And then when we do our face analysis, diba, we start with the upper third, middle third, and then the lower third. So we have a very good forehead area here. Ang ganda ng kanyang uh, shape na kanyang forehead kasi right now meron pa nga yung they call Barbie forehead okay. a convex shape forehead so sa kanya maganda and going to the middle third syempre she's 25 she still ha she has this very good curve here an OG curve now when we go to the lower third so nananotice lang natin na isang side is much prominent more prominent than the other side yeah. so we can do non-surgical procedures that can balance yes give us mm -hmm. symmetry also yes. and a little bit of ano, projection sa kanyang chin mm -hmm. area and afraid si Paula sa mga surgical na yeah. aggressive yeah. Yeah. so this is very invasive. perfect yeah. for me yeah. yeah so super so, excited right. to see the results yes. yeah pero uh, kasi I was talking to Paula a while ago diba you mentioned about TMJ yes so meron din siyang problem na ganon yeah. then nagrecommend nga pala sila sa yo ng injection of Botox, Botox. Yes. doon sa isang side yeah, yung more side. prominent side niya mm -hmm. Dito, so right yeah, now, so right. they did the Botox injection. Actually, with the Botox, uh, we inject masseter in that area, the masseter mm -hmm. muscle. Okay. So we only wanted to to make it smaller, mm -hmm. okay, uh, para somehow bumalance dun sa kabila. Yeah. But then looking at Paula, we still need to work on yung sa may harap. Yeah. So doon sa posterior sa likod na slim with the Botox already, so we can still make this smaller. Eh. 
We have mga treatments, for example, yung ating machine Ulthera yeah. that can also give us face reshaping. Yeah. You can make smaller or reduce mm -hmm. one side to balance with the other side. Yeah. So we have done that actually. Meron kaming iba na yung isang side niya bigger than the other side. So we only did yung isang yeah. side, side na yon with the Ulthera. And we also noticed na lumiit, mm -hmm. lumiit yeah. yung kabila. Okay. So nagbalance. So yeah. that's one technique. Another one, yung mga Ultra V mm -hmm. threads, yeah. V lift Three threads, threads. Yeah. we can also inject that dun mm -hmm. sa isang side na mas prominent. prominent. Uh -huh. So we make use again yung mga protein threads. Mm -hmm. Actually, there was a study with those threads na pwede nilang ma-reduce yung mga, for example, there's a fat pad. Mm -hmm. So pwede mag-shrink yun, okay. lumiit yun. Mm -hmm. And also, yung tightening and contraction inside those tissues. So, we wanted it to be smaller, slimmer yung dito nga, di ba? Yeah. Para i-balance. Yeah. Or other technique naman, yung isang side, dinadagdagan. Yeah. Yun, or volumizer. Mm -hmm. So, we volumize with dermal filler naman. Okay. Yeah. So, pwede rin po yung mga ganong techniques. So, okay. just to achieve facial symmetry, yes. Facial balance, facial harmony. Yes. So Paula will show our televiewers sa pagbabalik ng CSA Certified Skin Authority. And we're back mga ka -CSA. So we will be showing you a procedure for correction of like facial asymmetry. So we still have with us Miss Paula. Hi, ah, How are Hello. you feeling? Good, excited. Excited. Yes. Okay. So a while ago we were discussing nga, di ba, isang side ng face more prominent than the other side. Yes. Or parang mas bulge yung kabila mm -hmm. than the other side. Okay. So how do we balance it? Okay. So the side na to, okay, among, aming right side po, dito yung area na mas prominent siya. Right, Paula? Yes. Okay. So before, she had a treatment na, na injection ng Botox. microtoxin, yeah. microbotox here. Okay. Ano lang, small unit of Botox lang. To also slim down yung masseter muscle here. Okay. Now, I told Paula, kasi kanina I was doing the assi assessment, na dadagdagan ko ng konti pa para mas mag-slim pa yung dito niya. Okay? So, we'll work on the right side muna. We make a marking. Okay, Paula? Actually, dito lang yung mm -hmm. tragus ng ear up to the mujolus or yung corner ng mouth dito sa right side. Okay? We call this mujolus. Alright. And then, we make a marking for the demarcation ng masseter muscle. So, I'm bite. Ayan. Nakuha ko yung belly ng kanyang masseter. So, we can add a little bit more. Okay, before she had like 18 units, yes. something mm -hmm. like that. So we can add a little bit more, like uh, 10 units, mm -hmm. yun, pwede. Now, yung area na to, we can still work on this, itong part na to. Kasi we have here, may fat pad din kasi dito. We wanted to slim it also. Now, I can do a combination, I, I can make use Ultera, or also V-leaf threads. Pwede ko rin kasing gamitin to slim it also. Paliitin natin yung dito mo. Okay? So, the goal is yun din, i-achieve V-shape. Okay? And para lumiit yung side na ito. Now, on the left side naman, okay, so making a demarcation line again here. So, the masseter is already small here. So, kaya maliit yung side dito ni Miss Paula. And then, parang yun nga, yung dito, nag-slim siya, maliit din siya. There's a, what we call, parang deficiency ng laman dito. So, there's a volume deficit. So, for correction of a volume deficit, of course, we make use of fillers. You fill in. Bigyan natin ng laman. So, bigyan natin ng konting laman dito para mag-balance dun sa kabila. Make sense? Yes. Okay yes, lang siya? Yes. Yan. So, my technique for this one, if I make use of a dermal filler, we can use um, an injection, pero we will be using cannula, okay. not needles, mm -hmm. so that I can spread the fillers here. We also use the fillers for jawline definition because the others would want to have the L shape here. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, we'll do. And then, we will be adding yung dito kasi sa chin part ni Paula, parang naka, ano ren inward. So, we need to project it forward. So, ilabas din natin. Kahit dito sa may part na to. 
So in terms of a chin, we can still give a chin augmentation, partial only. Kasi you already have a defined chin. Eh. Yan lang, dito sa may left side, parang medyo kulang. This one. Na notice more and Paula. Okay. So we can make a demarcation here. So this one here. We have a muscle, this one here, the depressor angulioris muscle here. So this part na ito, pwede pa nating i-volumize also. This one here. Okay. So we don't need to actually elongate the chin. More of we'll inject filler, project it forward dito sa part na to. Okay, kasi dito you have much volume here, much volume here. So what we're doing is a balancing procedure, or making the face symmetrical. Yeah. Okay. Although, because what we do naman, di ba, Paula, yung we wanted to cover up yung imbalance, eh. So, sometimes with our hair, we try to cover it up, yan. So, parang hindi rin naman pansin, eh. But when you look at the mirror na, you yourself, you notice it. You notice, yeah, it's noticeable to me. And somehow do something to equalize both sides. Are you okay with that? Yes, yeah, I'm okay. Do you have any questions so far? Um, how... How long you mga how long effects. yung effect? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, for the Botox here, we know that Botox yung effect niya. We always say six months, okay. no. And then yung si si Ulthera naman mm -hmm. when we do it, when we do one time treatment, mm -hmm. yung effect na no, nakikita mo palang weeks and months. Okay. And then the result may uh, last up to a year. Mm -hmm. The V-lift threads then one to two mm -hmm. years. Now the fillers also, especially if we use yung mga volumizer fillers. Mm -hmm. One to two years. And it depends on your environment. The others kasi stay in a cold place. The fillers stay longer. So, and also your lifestyle, your metabolic rate, those are factors that affect yung duration ng mga products that we use for our face. So, it's best to have it done every couple of years? Yes, pwede rin. Like, for Botox, you can do every six months, twice a year. For the fillers, once or twice. I mean, once a year. Or once in two years, something like that. So it's maganda every year, para well maintained and sustained. Actually, when you do a treatment after a year, when you inject filler, less the amount may be lesser than the first treatment. Okay. Okay. So easy to do will be the Botox here. So we're using the Botox Allergan Botox. Okay. This is the one that we use, yes, okay? So actually here at CSA, we show our clients what products we're using. Mm -hmm. So what do we inject, okay? Mm -hmm. So three-point injection. Actually, I have prepared a 12 unit here, okay? So four, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. So I need you to clench, mm -hmm. bite, okay? Inject this area, and then relax. Mm -hmm. And then the first one will be a four unit, okay? So we inject really intramuscularly. So the Botox here works on the masseter muscle. Okay, it will relax. Okay, bite. Okay, and then relax. So as you can see, I inject the full length of the needle. And this is to work on your masseter. So it will still further slim the face, making your face smaller pa. Okay. It's normal to feel na a few days, like when you chew. Because this is a chewing muscle, it's normal to feel that it's slightly weak. Yeah. Okay. That's expected. Yeah. You had it already before. Now next is to give some Ultera shots on this side. Okay. So we have our Ultera machine, and again the Ultera is the high intensity focus ultrasound. Okay. There are only few centers in the Philippines who has the the authentic. Ultera, okay. So we're using a 3.0 millimeter depth. It can target deeper layers, okay. And the extra fats or excess fats on the face, it will help in reducing that fat also. Okay, I love this treatment because it has skin tightening, skin firming, lifting, and it's also good for our face tissues. Maganda to, so. You'll target yung dito lang sa may mandibular area. Okay. So, I'll be giving one shot muna. Okay. First shot. 
How did that feel? Good. Wala Good. naman. Okay lang, no right? Pain, yeah. yeah. You you sent some pricking, yeah. tiny pricks. Mm -hmm. That's normal. That's expected. So we work on facial asymmetry using also full therapy. Mm -hmm. We target the portion with more tissues or thicker tissues. Yung mas malaman na area pwede natin itarget nito. And in terms of the result, you you can appreciate it. Yung mga iba kong patients, they tell me one week, two weeks, mm -hmm. na appreciate na nila. Eh. We even had a procedure of Ultera. Mm -hmm. After we did the treatment, immediately after, nakita yung pagliit. Pumantay dun sa isang side niya. So it's normal to feel a uh, heat sensation also. Yeah. Parang may mainit din siya. That's expected. Okay. So I'm using a 3.0. Okay, this also has collagen induction, skin tightening, firming, contouring, lifting, toning, yeah. face reshaping, making your face smaller. So I'll be giving like a 20 shots on this side. Yeah. So Paula here will still do a follow-up with us. And knowing she's from Manila, yeah. Layo, no? Yeah. Yeah. So we already did the 20 shots of Ultera. Then after that, I can combine it with some 30 millimeter threads. So combination therapy is now the, the treatment of choice uh, right now. So we, we had conventions and we were talking about combining procedures, filler, Botox, energy devices or energy-based devices. So, the next treatment will be to inject the V-lift threads on this side, okay? So, we will still show you the next procedures when CSA returns. back mga kasiyasay. So, a while ago, we have done Botox on the masseter and also 20 shots of the old therapy. And actually, we assess and you're already noticing a, an improvement. Right, Paula? Yeah. Yung dito niya, nag-slim na. Parang magiging, naging smaller na. Okay? Or parang nalalapit na dun sa kabila. Nababalance na siya. So, we wanted to add more, lalo pa nating dagdagan para mas talagang ito lumiit pumantay sa kabila. We'll add V-lift threads. We're using, ano lang, monofilament, 30 millimeter lang. So, this is injection again. So, I had Botox injection a while ago. So, ito, I will just be injecting on this area here. Okay. Parang ang, ano lang, acupuncture lang ang dating. So, I'll be using 30 millimeter monofilament PVO threads. And, it's a short one. Short thread only. Okay, and I'm just following the mandibular area. Okay. And the fifth one. These threads will stay inside and they will be absorbed. So, Paula, this is absorbable thread. These are made of polydioxinone PDO threads. These are 100% biocompatible. So, five more. And as they get absorbed, so they further tighten, lift, pull this side. So, mas ma-achieve mo pa yung V-shape. Okay. So, these are safe threads. Okay. So, we wanted to make this side smaller. So, we're doing a so-called balancing making our face symmetrical. And last one. So, this is to enhance or boost the action of our Volterra. Okay, done. So, we're done on the right side. Okay, so we'll work on the left. Okay. So, this time, we'll be volumizing. We'll add. We will be working on the jawline here. Kasi dapat may prominent tayong this one, yung angle ng jaw, ng bone natin dito, yung mandibular bone. So, we need to augment this side here. So, we will be using Restylane Perlane to volumize this side here. Okay. 
Okay. So, this is a so-called balancing, making our face symmetrical. Sabi nila, beauty is balanced. Beauty is symmetrical. Beauty is harmonious. Yes. Okay, so, uh, we'll need, we'll be anesthetizing this. Lidocaine, please. Okay, our technique is, we will be using cannula, okay? And it's a so-called fanning technique. Okay, we will be injecting. This is a lidocaine, Paula, okay? Mm -hmm. So, 0 0.2 ml lang. Okay. Then, I need a gauge 19 to make an opening, our point of entry. Okay. We'll be working on a single entry point. Isa lang yung ating magiging opening. Okay. So, this is to puncture this side here. So, ito po ay restylane per lane. Okay, this is again, is a hyaluronic filler. And hyaluronic is naturally present in our tissues, in our skin, connective tissues. So, this is very safe. So, I need this uh, longer cannula because I will be reaching the angle of the jaw. This one here. Okay. So, yung ating point of entry, this one here. Then, we'll be traversing up to this side. Okay. So, numb ang area na to, right? Yes. And then, you know there's something going in, but it's okay. And I'll just traverse up to the mandibular, the jaw angle. Yung pinaka-angulo dito. Yun lang po ang aabutin ng ating cannula. And I'm using gauge 23. And I really need a longer one. So, this side is being volumized. We need to really add up. Pero so far, she has no other treatment. You had no other treatment here, Paula, no. right now. So. Some people really have this kind of problem. So, they just wanted to balance or correct. So, I'm just gonna be reaching yung pinaka angle here. Then once I reach that point, I can already push some fillers. So I'll be injecting a filler already. So lalagyan lang po natin ng laman tong side na to. The fillers still talaga, uh, they, they did a study, 12 months to 24 months, it can stay in our tissue. Especially these kinds of deep fillers or very viscous or thick or large gel size fillers. And we only ask them to drink a lot of water so that it's gonna attract and absorb water and it's gonna further plump up or volumize. I can already feel the gels inside. And the good thing with this one is it hydrates our tissues. It gives further volume. So this is cannula. It's not sharp. It's blunt. And when we use blunt cannula, there is not much of a tissue damage. So wala siyang natutusok kasi hindi siya yung mga sharp needles. So I need to add a little bit more just to balance. So doctors need to undergo training for this one and we give lectures for fillers. Like for example, with Restylane, we conduct a lot of trainings for doctors and lectures for doctors. Okay, so I'm adding more volume. You can only put like a minimal amount lang. Kasi what we're trying to do is balancing. The other one is already smaller, so this one just minimal na lang. So you can do this. And when you drink a lot of water, the fish will still plump up. So how do you feel, Paula? Okay, okay. Yeah. Right. 
So, you'll feel a filler here. You will feel the substance inside. Mm -hmm. Pag hinahawakan mo na yun siya, so you can sense na there's a substance there. And when you drink a lot of water, still gonna plump up mm -hmm. further volume. So, ayan na, parang, ayan na, I can see the lifting already mm -hmm. here. Kasi kanina, it was really flat. It was really, uh, you know na, there's a lack of substance inside mm -hmm. here. So, this is much better now. Now, we can do a massaging technique to spread the filler inside. Ayan. And then, last touch ko na lang is this one. I need to add a volume here. I can make use of the uh, needle technique. Just here na lang. So, I'll need the filler again. So, we're using again the rest in name. So, I tell my audience to always go to doctors who have this kind yeah. of training for fillers. So not all doctors are able to do this as well. Yeah. So, we are from that. Now when we do chin augmentation, mm -hmm. normally for women, we really inject midline. Mm -hmm. For the case of Paula here, we wanted to correct the left side. So we wanted to add volume here. This is slanted yung dito mo. Yeah. So my point of entry will be this point here. Mm -hmm. It's deviated to the left side. Okay, so I'll be adding volume, close eyes, injecting here, and it's just a true, true and true, and we call this a bolus injection. Okay, so we're almost done, we're gonna correct this part. It will depend on the needed volume, the needed amount to balance the face. But when I do it, I do not overcorrect, I just under correct because it will absorb water and when the days pass by you're still gonna see it mm -hmm. become yeah. yes it will still plump mm -hmm. up so there you go mm -hmm. paula you have any questions um, well, I know my dog. yes well, I know. I, uh, yes anyway you explain it thoroughly right. before the procedure yeah and i trust you naman thank you so much your, for trusting yeah. us <laughs> uh, yeah. So actually, we'll be taking a photo yeah. later on. Mm -hmm. So after the procedure, what we only advise our patients is that uh, do ice compress, mm -hmm. okay? okay? Or you also can take pain relievers mm -hmm. if you feel any discomfort. Okay. Some are not pill poppers, so they don't take any pain relievers at all. It's okay. You can do ice compress. Okay. And then no heavy exercises for a few days. No, for a few days. Okay. okay. Uh -oh. Tapos that area... Uh, so far, so good. I don't see any sign of bruising at mm -hmm. all, okay, for her case. And she's so young, and younger patients have quicker healing mm -hmm. and faster uh, recovery, okay. So, maganda naman ang magiging response. done the Restylane Dermal Filler injection on the left side, okay? Also, we have injected on the chin, more of the left side. And then, dito sa part na to, yung ating Botox at saka yung Ultera plus the Ultra V Lift Thread. So, this is combination treatment, okay? For facial balancing. So, to make our face symmetrical. Yeah. Okay, and so how was the experience, Miss Paula? Um, I'm very, uh, at first I was very nervous, but at the same time excited to see the results. Yes. Kasi nga, magaan yung kamay ni Doc Contessa. And I really trust her uh, for my procedures. Thank you so much, Paula. And of course, thank you for being our guest for yes. today and also for showing our televiewers mm -hmm. what kinds of treatments can we do to balance our face. Yes. So, ayan. So, maraming maraming salamat po. Okay. So, kung meron po silang mga katanungan, you may email me at csaskinclinic at yahoo.com. Our clinic is located at the second floor Pure Gold Dao Building, the Uma Carter Highway, Mabalakat, Pampanga. Our contact numbers, 045-331-1117 or 0933-860-9193. I have my Instagram, doc underscore contessa. FB page, CSA Derm Centre. Also my FB, 
Contessa Salvador Alapag. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube videos. Just type Contessa Salvador. So for those who miss our other videos or episodes, you can watch them at our YouTube channel. Ayan. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Doc. Okay. Hope to see you again yeah. in our future episodes. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. Sa follow-up. Yes. May follow-up pa rin si Paula. Yes. And of course, so after this, ano muna, wag masyadong mga heavy good um, yes, workouts. Exercise. exercise. Yeah. Kasi I know she's also athletic. Right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very healthy ang bata. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Yan. So, maraming salamat po and thanks to my CSA staff, my assistants. Okay. And also, I'm inviting my co-doctors for the upcoming, the very first APEM, Asia's PDO Experts Meeting. It will be held in Singapore, July 30 to 31. Isa po ako sa mga speakers. Okay, yan. Marami kaming mga ipipresent na mga PDO treatments for face rejuvenation. So, nakasama ako as one of the international speakers. So, hopefully, maka-attend ang aming mga co-doctors. So, when it comes to your natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Certified Skin Authority.